السلام علیکم مائی نیم از ڈاکٹر منصور احمد پارٹ سی ویڈیو کلپ آف دا بلڈ پریشر پریکٹیکل اینڈ ناؤ وی ول ڈسکس دا پروسیجر آف دا اسکلٹیٹری میتھڈ ٹو میئر دا بلڈ پریشر فسٹ گیو انٹروڈکشن اینڈ ٹیک کنسنٹ فرام سبجیکٹ ایز یو نو دیٹ ان ایوری پریکٹیکل یو ہیو ٹو گیو یو انٹروڈیوس یور سیلف ٹو دا سبجیکٹ اور پیشنٹ اینڈ دین یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک کنسنٹ فرام دا سبجیکٹ اینڈ دس از مسٹ فار ایوری پریکٹیکل دین ایکسپلین دا پروسیجر ٹو دا سبجیکٹ یو شوڈ دین ایکسپلین دا پروسیجر ٹو دا سبجیکٹ اینڈ ہاؤ یو ول پرفارم اینڈ ہاؤ یو ول ڈو اٹ اینڈ یو ہیو نو پرابلم اینڈ ری شور ایم دیٹ دیر ول بی نو پرابلم and we only have to measure the blood pressure have the subject seated with his or her arm resting on the table now subject should be seated with his or her arm resting on the table and the subject should be relaxed and he should or he or she should be uh, totally relaxed so his arm or his or her arm should be resting on the table or any other thing and uh, complete rest wrap the pressure cuff cuff wrap the pressure cuff firmly around the bare upper arm of the subject now wrap the pressure cuff firmly around the bare upper arm of the subject first you have to expose the and uh, uh, arm should be naked and bare uh, uh, the cloth of the cuff of the uh, of shirt of the uh, person should patient or subject should be removed and then after the removing the cuff should be applied over the arm and over the arm the first the pressure cuff is firmly around the bare area of the subject is applied and 2 to 5 cm above the cubital fossa you should know the cubital fossa it is a depression on the anterior surface of uh, the uh, between arm and forearm and this fossa is Uh, you should uh, the cuff should be 2 to 5 cm above the cubital fossa this is you should have to remember now the rubber tubings they also should be the on the anterior surface of the uh, cuff on the medial side of the arm or middle side of the arm so this thing you should remember and then after that Uh, 2 to 5 cm above the cubital fossa medial rubber tubing on the medial side of the arm and then the palpate the brachial artery on the medial side in the cubital fossa you should palpate the brachial artery on the medial side in the cubital fossa now place the diaphragm of the chest you know that uh, uh, here uh, this stethoscope has ear piece and it has diaphragm and bell and you should place the diaphragm of the chest piece of the stethoscope over the brachial artery below the cuff this thing you should know inflate the pressure cuff to around 160 mm of mercury now you will be inflating the pressure cuff to around 160 mm of mercury that is 20 mm of mercury above the normal systolic range what was the normal systolic range 120 to 140 and now above the normal uh, above 40 140 up to 140 it is normal and from above 140 that is 20 mm of mercury above the normal starting range so that the arteries are completely collapsed and no sounds are heard in the stethoscope so arteries com- become completely collapsed and the no sounds are heard in the stethoscope by opening the valve of the sphygmomanometer slowly lower the pressure in the cuff no valve of the sphygmomanometer it is present to release the air and to uh, to uh, force the air in the cuff into the cuff so by opening the valve of the sphygmomanometer slowly lower the pressure in the cuff as the pressure decreases one is able to hear four phases of sound changes called crotocoff sounds these sounds which are heard as the pressure is decreases one is able to hear four phases of sound changes called crotocoff sounds you should know the spelling of these crotocoff sounds you should know that these crotocoff sounds are heard and they have four phases and phase 1 is the penis of a tapping sound as it increases in intensity during the next 10 to 10 mm fall in pressure you should know that 
phase one in phase one it is the appearance of a tapping sound and it increases intensity during the next 10 millimeter of hg fall in pressure now the pressure at which first sound appears is the systolic blood pressure at which this sound the first sound is heard this is known as systolic blood pressure phase two during this phase the sound becomes a soft murmur during the next 10 to 15 millimeter drop in of mercury drop in blood pressure and this is the sound becomes the soft murmur and in phase 3 the sound become louder again during the next 10 to 15 millimeter of mercury drop in pressure in this phase now this is the third phase and in this third phase the sound becomes louder again during the next 10 to 15 millimeter drop in pressure in this phase and now in the phase 4 in this phase 4 the sound suddenly becomes muffled and reduced in intensity in this phase uh, in this uh, muffled means as they are dis disappearing uh, comes and then they are disappearing and uh, in this phase sound disappears this is called diastolic blood pressure so first of all where sound appears this is known as the systolic blood pressure and where the sound disappears this is known as the diastolic blood pressure Pre now this was the procedure of the auscultatory method and it is all about sounds and their different phases and these are the crotocope sounds and four phases of crotocope sounds precautions explain the pr procedure to the subject first uh, pre uh, pre precaution is that you should explain the procedure to the subject you should take the introduction and you should give them your introduction and you should take consent use the standard arm cuff it should be standard apply the pressure cuff not too tight and keep it one finger loose no, so pressure cup should be one finger loose change in pressure changes in pressure should be recorded carefully now the pressure change should be recorded carefully enough exercise which increases the heart rate should be performed the while performing exercise enough exercise should be performed which increases the heart rate the inflatable bag along with its associated tubings should be placed on anterior surface of arm uh, you should know that the inflatable bag along with it associate, its associated tubings. Now the, the tubings should be on the anterior surface of the arm. This thing you should know. Do not leave the cuff inflated for over two. Uh, the tubing should be on the anterior surface of the arm as well on the medial side. Because brachial artery is present on the medial side and where you will place the stethoscope, the diaphragm of the stethoscope and do not leave the cuff inflated for over two minutes you should not leave the cuff inflated for over two minutes this thing you should have to remember the instrument should be at the level of hand to avoid gravity now this instrument it should be at the level of hand to avoid gravity if you are standing it should be at your level of hand if it is you are sitting it should be at your level of hand it should when you are lying it should be at your level of hand after performing exercise you can perform it whether sitting or uh, you can perform it so we come to the observation table and this is the these are the observations and you should uh, re make the table like this i have made and uh, you should uh, write it down the different terms and different uh, measurements and uh, a subject should be uh, first you should see the serial number and condition and the conditions are at rest lying sitting standing after exercise and uh, uh, further we see the systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure pulse pressure mean arterial pressure you should write your recordings here and you should write the, your calculations and your uh, observations here in lying position uh, systolic pressure is diastolic pressure pulse pressure mean arterial pressure you have to calculate the pulse pressure and you have to calculate the mean arterial pressure from the uh, you have to calculate the pulse pressure from systolic diastolic from, you have to calculate the uh, uh, mean arterial pressure from the pulse pressure diastolic blood pressure so uh, in in at rest in lying in at rest or lying is the same thing and then in the sitting position you have to record the blood pressure then in standing position you have to record the systolic diastolic pulse pressure mean arterial pressure and after exercise you have to record the systolic diastolic blood pulse pressure and mean arterial pressure we have finished our uh, this practical